another. So we got birthdays. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? So birthdays out there today. I'd like to wish everybody a happy birthday. It was a nice, kind of nice day today. Happy birthday, Christine. Bill Bill. Actually, it's uh, we didn't do the flash flash. It's a whole bunch of people's birthdays and shit. Chris Trent's birthday was done. You know what I'm saying? That was a couple of days ago. Little Bill Bill Coleman, William, he ain't little no more. You know what I'm saying? Daniel Nicole. Now we on to some today, today kind of. The twins' birthday, Leaper Twins. Happy Good birthday to you. Judy Neal. Brittany Burnett. Gina Jennings. Danielle Fields. Shalonda Tucker. Happy birthday oh, to you. I see you. That. Happy birthday, Shalonda. Alfonso Grant, right now, as of 12 a.m. Alfonso Grant, yeah. book him. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Latrondi Smith. Happy birthday, book him. Andrea Clark. We got, oh, Sharika. Hey, she watches the show, too. She be telling me all the time at the shop. I'm like, I see this show. I see this show. Sharika. Appreciate you. We love it. Then Kenneth McGee and Frank Nitty. That's not your real name. It is not your... You ain't 90 years old. I hate people to do that right there. You ain't throw nobody off. Well, he can be Frank Nitty if he want to be Frank Nitty. Throw, throw my ops away. I know a dude who's in a relationship for five years. I'm not going to say his... Government name, or I ain't even gonna say his made up name, but you know who you are. <laughs> he do uh say uh, Francois. I'm just gonna say that's your name. All right. So for five years, you thought his name was Francois. Francois. <laughs> and that's not your real name. We throw people off like nobody told you his mama ain't, he ain't here. Nobody say his real name. Hey, George, hand me that remote control, George. Why they keep calling you George? He said, I like that name. <laughs> That's crazy. No, wow. It's funny hearing her cuss him out. I remember he uh, put on Facebook because she busted the windows out in his car. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, this is some dumb ass shit right here. But he rubbed it back in because like maybe an hour later, boom, my windshield was fixed. You know what I'm saying? He didn't hurt nothing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? But they hear her cussing him out. Look, Francois, you ain't shit, motherfucker. Right there, Francois, your mama ain't shit. You know? And I'm like, you really think that's your name? That's crazy. That's crazy. Man. I had one of them in middle school though. I used to, I used to do that too though, and I remember um, I was at the movies with this girl, and uh, I told her my, the chick's my name was Jason, right? And I remember like we were been in the caddy, kicked in there and everything. So I was at the movies, <laughs> and she, I remember with the chick, she's like, Jason, Jason, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Starting away like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Toys is Oh, it was funny, man. And then, <laughs> I'll say to her later another time. She's like, why'd you speak to me? I, I was doing something. Yeah, like, hey, porno ass name. Shit, got shit. that shit. Like, <laughs> Diamante Styles. No, you're just. Hey, you want to see my wife? You want to see my daughter's license? <laughs> Diamante Styles. <laughs> That sounds like some shit with a Dermot, the yeah. Dermot, uh, from the 70s <laughs> to the 80s, folks. <laughs> Dermot would do, start being able to say something. I kind of wish that was my real fucking name, too. That was so smooth. Yeah, change. I'll change styles. Change that. Nah, that, I wouldn't do that. That's porno is now, today. <laughs> no, that means a cut to the chain. <laughs> so, I don't need that in my background. Wouldn't that be the, uh, uh, we also got to give. That it, she passed last week too. Uh, Joelle from Death Row at age fifty six. It's crazy. She uh, she was dealing with some um, heart heart fluid around her heart or something like that. So everybody get your health shit together. Just get checked out. Cause I don't. I've been working on my shit, y'all. I have. But check that shit out, cause you could be young and vibrant as you are today and. Some stupid shit tomorrow and be like, what? I know what's wrong with me. I actually know, know the mental shit, but, but I don't do shit about, no, I'm talking about my, like, my eyesight. You know oh, what I'm saying? Okay. I'm literally like, let me get some directions and I gotta put some shit together and shit. And I'm looking at these, and the shit is like, whoa. So I'll actually take a picture of the shit in my phone so I blow that motherfucking shit up. <laughs> Giddy was talking about I my do phone that on my phone, like this fucking big and shit, like my texts and shit. Will you? And I gotta scroll. Down. I don't necessarily take the picture. I kind of like just turn the light on <coughs> and shit with a camera screen and be looking at it. I can't even do that right there. But you see, when I just did that on the uh, 
on the phone. That worked way better for me. Did you, you see me doing stuff like this when I was reading? <laughs> you can see it's like a book on there. When your mom was trying to hook me up with your aunt <laughs> with my sexy face. <laughs> she, said, she said she was having, about to have a heart attack, <laughs> asthma attack. Hey, you'll get one. So, it be so much going on during the week when we be trying. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, man, I'm going to talk about this next week and there's some other stupid stuff just happened like right after the, yeah. after we after we shoot or bro, I just be wanting to go back live like right now like go back go back go so we talk about it's kind of old yeah. and like that. But that was last week yeah because so much happened but it just happened and now so with uh, young thug and catching young thug and kind of getting uh, they know crew and all catching the Rico charge. Dudes is talking about dudes been pressed, somebody impressed somebody. Uh, dudes is in there like they about to tell. Young thug went before the judge, like I just want to be home with my, my kids. Definitely, every, that's your first thing you try to uh, touch the judge's sentimental side, or, you know, if you can. And like, you know, well, just don't do it no more. That's not the case in a Rico. It's a lot of shit. But I'm just saying, like, how from last week when this shit just happened. 56 counts. Yeah. I mean, it was watching. They, was, they got shit with them before, like, they actually got the fuck on and shit. Like, right. They talking about and that's how far you almost got to go back for Rico Charlie. Like, you got to. They've been. From the day they start, when their name came about, because somebody else <clears throat> said they were supposed to be. A, they said they had a record label or something. Like, nah. What happened, what happened to. Names of games like back in the days though. They niggas is a YSLBs or some shit like that. Nigga, what happened to the devils? The they real devil. All the way back to 2015, like when one of them was implicated in like shooting at a Lil Wayne store bus. Mm, yeah, yeah, that was you know, during so the fight and shit. So go all they go back to 112. They said yeah. they go they, they they should go back to 112 too. And I thought about that, like thinking, I wonder if that's when uh was how Acting that shit was when he was trying to, because then the shit start coming up too, plotting to kill Lil Wayne and shit like that. Even like, what is it, last year? The, the, you know what I'm saying? Was it y, YFN? YFN. That's yeah. who they in jail with YFN, the yeah. press, the gunner or something. Yeah, they tried to stab him. Yeah. And it was a hit done by him. That's what put this, that's what put him, made the case. Well, yeah, bro. For them to be able to, for them to be able to, be able to uh, the, you know, that's what part of it what gave them because they just recently tried that shit. So, and it's a state Rico, right? Yeah. So, that's state time, right? Yeah, so it's like it's like probably two or three states that do that. Everybody else is just federal. I just want to understand how they in the position that they in. You, when you create opportunity and positions, why wouldn't you be pushing your people? They could still be, uh, you kind of they know. were. You kind of don't do that until you get there. But it's like, okay, let's say we teenagers, right? Like how we were. Everything right. that we did when we was, you know, doing our music shit, and, you know, the shit that we was doing besides music, you know what I'm saying? Some of the shit was illegal in the motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? So all of a sudden, now you're making money. Now you, you know what I'm saying? You just, you right. just you all over the place. And you can bring some shit up that, that was way the fuck back then and shit. Like, right. can I, will you let me mature? Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. I think it, it really shouldn't for it to be for them to go at them the way they're going at them. And the chick seemed like the uh, prosecutor. She got a bandana. Hold on, and they're trying to, you know, how these rappers today they they implicate too much real life into their music and shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's what they're doing now. They're they're going through their music like a fine tooth comb. Like that's some real shit that actually literally happened. You know what I'm saying? You done told them. You done told the season. You know what I'm saying? You done told the street and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and then one of your dudes is implicated in that also. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just told the truth on wax. So we're going to go through that shit and see what we can see. Like the Chicago nigga shit. When, uh, or not the Chicago dude. Or wherever they was from. It's like, something got, got. And then, nah, nah, they just kept saying He did the uh, Snoop Dogg like that too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, he did catch a, some beat behind that. Yeah, they they went they Eminem. A, a of lot of rappers used to get it more as far as lyrics go. They were really trying to take Eminem's daughter from her. You know, we yeah. would do your lyrics and all that, and that is who you are. 
You know, he had to fight to say, no, that's the fuck that's entertainment. Right, exactly. But I don't think he said nothing that was like actually like I really killed somebody. You know, we you talked about we killing Kim. Kill yeah. But if Kim time. but if Kim got murdered and she was drowned somewhere, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? But like he said in the shoe, it's you. you. Yeah. <laughs> that bitch can fall down and fight a step. Walking out with the raw line. Uh-uh, so Alright, turn that down. But the dudes is weirdos for that because um, I would I would think like that means they still are here in the mix though. It's like they not. It's hard to get that if that's a lot of people. That's actually because the who you are and money is not going to change. Like who yeah. you, you got to grow out of that. You know what I'm saying? Like like I watched Jay Z grow out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like okay, I, that's not my shine right there. I shouldn't be. Right. You know, I think after that he stabbed the dude over the DVDs. You know what I'm saying? And that's what all the CDs. Oh, over there. He stepped through over the CDs that he was, and I think that's when he started to like mature. Like that's not the life, you know. I want, I can't get no money. In there. But see, you know, like New York niggas is different. Like they, you know, the way they grew up and the, and the way they look at life. I look at him as an individual because I think some dumbass New Yorkers and shit. It's yeah, a bunch of them. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, like the dudes, like from his era, cut from that type of cloth, um, are kind of like. He doing a lot of shit. You will see how the old mobsters do. You know what I mean? When they create something and, and then grow from it and move on to other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like so, you wouldn't necessarily. You usually make your bones. That was kind of like the the coming of age thing when he did the stabbing, and then he got through it, and then it was like once that happened, other doors start opening. He in. started studying the industry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like learning it from some that. foul ass motherfuckers. Look what y'all doing to Or us. they might have opened the, the doors he had to sacrifice. Are you willing to do this to get there? Nah, because he, he he dissed them too fucking hard and shit. You know what I'm saying? He made them pay the price for the, you know what I'm saying? You gonna pay for this artist and this artist. He would teach a motherfucking artist how to cause it hurts like how Snoop Dogg, you know what I'm saying? You done when Dre did the chronic, you wrote that, you know what I'm saying? And then you did your album, you wrote that, you know what I'm saying, and all that right there, but you know what I'm saying, you just no royalties. You know what I'm saying? You, you, he I don't mean, he don't because that's the contract we signed. And being a new artist, he'd have never got a They probably didn't know. He would have but he would have never got a contract that he owned any um But there are people who do that, like, you know what I'm saying, like you got like don't play my song in a commercial and I don't get paid. Somebody else get paid for it and shit. That's well, when they do a good business though, you'll get a check if the motherfucker doing the right business. Like they might be taking their piece too, and you'll get a check. Snoop Dogg said he don't get paid, but he don't. Thing. He None don't do that because that was the deal he signed. But now he's in the position that get. I don't even think you get a deal. I think that's something else you supposed to have added to your deal. Nah, hey, I want royalty. It's called publishing. So when you sign over your publishing, he just signed a contract. The contract got everything about what comes with what you're doing. Like, what's the uh, Ray? And I don't even, I, don't, I think that was before stupid. the 360 did. I look stupid, I got a brain for it. You know Ray. Ray, Ray, um, Charles. Charles, Ray Charles. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the first person. Okay, I, I, this is my He contract. created the shit. Yeah, it's my contract, masters. but you know what I want inside of this contract? You know what I'm saying? I want control of that shit, so when I'm done, and you know what I'm saying? And my music is making money, and I want it to go to me. And but I he didn't get to do that off rip. He got raped and all kinds of shit. Yeah, but he had to learn some lessons. He had to learn and, and then create something worth being able to and make. And this happens so much, you know, that compromise over. When an artist is being signed and they got to sign contracts for shit like that, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're so excited about, you know, it's in the position they get. Yeah, in. that's why you get signed. They don't even done. look through that because, I mean, even, you know, New Edition, that happened to y'all. So then when you sign Boys to Men, why did y'all do the same thing to them? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, they didn't get their yeah, money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every, but that's every fucking and, thing. New person, the only people that might be able to like, like J. Cole is like, I'm not falling for that. Bullshit. He had to do he it in mind. the beginning, he had to because he signed with Hulk now. Or, no, don't ever, and no, ever will never ever happen to do. I'm a damn brain for it again. Uh, it's the artist that, um, he never signed to nobody. He if you never signed to a label, you could get it off. No, this is what but he did. But right a label, here. that's how they want He just put his shit on YouTube and shit and got so many viewers. And shit. he gave his music out for free, you know what I'm saying, for everybody. How and then when he went to, a, he did his concert, you had 70,000 people there. So I'm eating off my concert. I'm giving out free music. I survive off of concerts and commercials. That's why they're saying. It's the dude with that one hat. Uh, 
He said, that's why they tell the artist that if you can be independent, if you build up a following like that already before messing with a record label, chance the rapper. You don't need the record label. That's what it is, chance the rapper. Yeah, chance. You would never buy his. You would never buy a song ever from him. You but any money. Chance has put himself in some shit right now, as far as his shit go. But as far as his um, music and how it is, as far as people's exception of it, when he got the, um, he just he got married and pulled away from the game. Now it's been some other shit. It was kind of like what he had did, and they they was like you know like people when kind of messing with him and some of the people that be may have did it. Now he also always had his uh, independence, which he started with, you know what I'm saying? But the thing these dudes be doing when they sign them deals and they not looking for, uh, they just wanna, man, if you be like, they gonna give me 50,000 today, you know what I'm saying, 100,000 today, you might do it if you ain't, you know, a broke project kid, never had nothing or nothing like that. But if you already had an album out, you ain't gonna take that shit again. You, if, especially if you didn't sell the black. What's it doing in the clips? Uh, Miles. No, the clips. Ryan Dean. Well, Miles, that's the one that left. My bad. No, I ain't talking about him because he left. The other one. He just had an album put out. Push a T. Push a T. No. Um, this is the lesson that he said. He, he, the same thing we come on now, this is the lesson he learned. They paid him a certain amount for a McDonald's uh, commercial, and he came right. up with the da 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 da. I'm loving it. He came up with that, and he walked away with the money that he gave him. You know what I'm saying? He had to learn a lesson. Get the fuck out of here! I fucked up. So when he did the Arby's commercial, <laughs> not only did you pay me, you know what I'm saying, for doing this song, but every time you play that, that's what he should have did to McDonald's, but he did not know. Yeah. He said, but I learned my lesson. But they, the people in the room knew Pharrell's ass knew. Pharrell could have told him. Bet you Pharrell got a piece if he make music. I don't know who's in the room or how. I'm just saying, like, you know, that's what they do. They yeah. be like, bring it like, man, but you, I give you 300,000 right now. Not with that face that you make it. With that face. It's really easy. That's it. It's a creepy face. Well, I give you a million dollars right now if you write this up. Y'all should see the look in this game, man. <laughs> Paul, I'll give you a hundred, I'll give you a million dollars right now you write this. That's that shit night contract. Don't even sign it. Then, no, he said it's a shit night contract. It's a blank piece of paper. <laughs> sign your name at the bottom. <laughs> I'll fill it in later. No lie. That's the shit night deal. Okay, do. that's, and then out of those days is what birthed that 360 deal that the artists would get. And that's like when they take your likeness, your, all that shit. Like basically how, uh, Comedy Central did um, like they made Dave it. Chappelle and shit like that. It's like you sign your name and you get some money supposedly, but they got your likeness, your name. You can't even use your name or none of that shit without. Oh, it did. Um, and your publishing, like so they can push your music because that's what Prince was tripping about too. You know, you, if you're on the same record label, um, those labels put it like that because some, you know, you no limit or. Uh, uh, you know, bad boy, well, not bad boy, I ain't gonna use bad boy, but you know how, how in hip hop, you know, the dudes don't be biting each other, it's not known, you're not supposed to bite. But motherfuckers was, re you know, Prince was on the same level with another group, they was covering this song, they would, you know, the label would let you do on it and put it out under your name, you know what I'm saying? Because his contract was signed, they, when they own the publishing to it, they can do what they want to do. You, you don't even have to ask the artist to uh, if I could cover your song. Like even with respect, they might just be like, "We'll do Prince's oh, yeah. Kiss Again," and uh, we'll talk to him or something, Kiss and give him some money or something. And they don't even, you know what I'm saying? Like it's all kinds of that's shit. That old that's that's that, old that's that old Jewish fifty love. shit. 50, yeah. uh, in the fifties shit, you know what I'm saying? When you would have a black band or something, they doing good and shit. They'd be like, "Okay, we got a white version yeah. of your song." And it was but that they was doing that too. Remember, um, and Ray, they was doing that to Ray. They was doing it to Ray. They was doing that to everybody you could think of. Yeah. And Ray was what the good thing he did. Well, I ain't gonna say the good thing. He was when he got his deal and everything he was doing. It was two Jewish dudes <laughs> in the beginning, in the thirties, the twenties. See a shot, take a shot. It was always two Jewish dudes. 
which I don't know how, but the name shit, they didn't have to type rap, they didn't do it. Tiger Woods did it to himself. Yeah. He sold his name to Nike. Yeah. So now he got businesses, he got restaurants and shit like that, but it's not called Tiger Woods. Because you sold your name to Nike. So yeah. if you did do that, that's Nike. That's but the shit. smart thing to do is like, fuck it. They're gonna give me five hundred million dollars. Who cares? But you gotta if you if you smart enough, He's you, you, something else. you will be able to uh, like in, like when you do publishing like the books and, and thing and poems and uh, newspaper articles and stuff like that, you can license. It. Is that why Prince changed his name? Like I'm gonna change my name because yeah, that's why it was just a symbol because he didn't want a name because they were. Uh, you know, yeah, I got a contract with, with Prince. Yeah, I ain't got a contract with this symbol. Right. So he can do what the fuck he want under the symbol and put it out, which was genius. You know what I'm saying? But on publishing, when you write a book or you write shit like that, you can you could you say you got a publisher, you can lease it to them or license it to them, basically lease it to them for three years, five years, and then all rights and publishing come back to you. Now so with uh any other rappers, and then we got off track from that, even though it's still the same thing because it's just about life reinventing itself within the music. But uh, with the rappers, if they paid attention to what they was doing, they would be asking for that too. Some dudes are smarter now. Like if you build it up enough, you got some of your own dough, they paying you. You lightweight can get what you worth or close to it or you know ask for something decent to build off of because putting other artists out. Niggas are that smart now to where like they are putting news on under their situation and you know like me and you on I got on now I'm gonna go ahead and put you out like hurry up. They used to make niggas wait. Niggas be four five dollars before niggas on the like, it now it's like really you just piggybacking off of somebody else's yeah. success now. Like before okay I need somebody with a label you know say I'm gonna sign you as an artist because you don't got the studio you don't but you're signing right. artists that already doing music wherever the fuck they at. They already putting out videos. They already got 130,000, you know what I'm saying, viewers on their shit right there. And, you know, it's just, like, I'm endorsing you. Like how uh, Janet Jackson, I mean, not Janet Jackson, but like how uh, uh, Michael Jackson was endorsed by Diana Ross. You know what I'm saying? She introduced right. America exactly. because you brought him out. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what would happen if they came out on their own. If they came out on the channel. Yeah, if Eminem, no, they was doing it already. Eminem said this is not by himself. If Eminem was signed by Universal by himself, y'all wouldn't have paid attention to me. I would have just been some white boy because I had Dr. Dre back in me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying? You know what I'm saying? Y'all listen to me because and of And no Dr. other Dre. white boy in the game have ever been looked at without somebody prestigious behind them either. Like, yeah. if you go back to third base, they were signed with Def Ghetto Jam. Boys. Yellow Boys. Not Ghetto Boys, but uh, uh, Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys, Run also, Def Jam. Yeah, Run Yeah, if it wasn't for them, we endorsed this dude. But who endorsed third base? They was Def Jam. Oh, okay, yeah. Def Jam, and they was like the first. No, we I accepted the black and black and every damn thing. Because, um, well, who was Vanilla Ice? Vanilla Ice was Vanilla Ice. But who he come out with? Like, who endorsed it? Like, what? I'm they just put some money behind it. I'm saying endorsed him. I'm talking about, like, you know Nobody what did that. They just came out with his ass that I could Like, remember. Motown put out some But it was kind of like he was doing the hammer shit, too. Motown put out some one hit wonders now. You know what I'm saying? It's just that because I got nine but Ross Vanilla, with me. But Vanilla Ice was no one hit wonder. Vanilla, Vanilla Ice was a. Uh, he was, he that was, was a craze. That was an unfair thing because if you notice when doom, 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 we bumped that shit. We liked it because we didn't see the video. <laughs> Nobody, the video, they put the shit on the radio before the video. You know what I'm saying? So when we, we loved that shit and, and that shit came pounding out your trunk and all kind of shit yeah. and then when you showed us the video our mouth <coughs> dropped like, Why? Nah, fuck? but the video was almost dope too. I mean, not to me, but to other people because me. he was the white MC Hammer kind of sort of. First of all, I didn't know he was white. You know what I'm saying? Until I seen the video. You know what I'm saying? I did. And then when I found out the story behind it, then you didn't write that shit. Somebody else named Chocolate wrote that shit. And then when you blew up, you said, I'm not giving you shit. That's the reason why Suge Knight, you know, Suge Knight, can you get my money from this white boy? Because I'm broke. I live in the hood. I can't catch him. That nigga in Vegas. That nigga here. And, but you can catch him. And that's what Suge Knight did. I got everywhere the fuck your ass gonna be. Get, get his dude his money. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we decide. We know that. We know that. Man. 
I let you sign the shit just to kick his fucking head off. Oh, not with his younger days, no. Nah, you got to fuck that. Shit, Mike had dudes straight out of fucking prison that didn't know shit. Their job was to rape people in a fucking closet. You know what I'm saying? There was people who got raped in the closet. You know what I'm saying? One of the I know. I'm talking a, about the raping of the closet. It's a book, it's a book called <laughs> Have Done Will Travel. You know what I'm saying? Get this book. Have, I mean, it's a, it's a book about Suge Knight, but it touches every, Bobby Brown. You know, he said he couldn't keep up with Bobby Brown's ass. He said, I'm your, I'm your bodyguard. He said, that nigga did not sleep. And he was so fucking disrespectful. He said that whoop motherfuckers ass left the right and I shit. Believe. You know what I'm saying? So he said that's how he became who he is because it was some we somewhere and some motherfuckers want to kill Bobby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he said, well, bring that motherfucker that want to kill Bobby. You know what I'm saying? So they go, you know, shit like Nigga, that nigga like six, eight, 360 pounds. He has yeah. a huge motherfucker at the time. Yeah, but like if you try to fuck him out of some money and shit, that's what he was saying. But he got the he one thing he got that we he all said, got. He said, Either you you was you was he was taking millions, he was taking millions from him. You know what I'm saying? So he let him know. Fuck that movie and shit. They didn't show the real. You know what I'm saying? He said uh, No, I believe that. He said either you you know, you can walk out this room right now, go ahead and be fired, go ahead and watch your business. You know what I'm saying? Or you can go in that room. He knows if I go in this room, I learn my lesson, I keep my job, because I do a good job. But if I leave out this room, I'm gonna get my ass beat or probably killed or some shit like right. that. So he chose the room. You know what I'm saying? Somebody in Jodeci, what not it wasn't JoJo. It wasn't KC, it was the other one. You got raped, Sam Sneed got raped, you know what I'm saying? I remember by Sam Sneed. Big motherfuckers just go pound you out and just rape you. That's yeah, humiliating. They, they, I'm not signing shit with Shug, no. They go, they, uh, no. I would come to the rescue with the goon squad. Have you ever, uh, uh, there and there and there go ask the twins. You know, that song when they say, you know what the twins they talking about? Snoop, Snoop them, the twins from 213. No, what? Who? You know what I'm saying? That was, you know, he was talking shit like you. Know, it was know, just niggas that was on that. I do remember. It was, was, it was a set of twins, right? They you know what I'm saying? They would have a meeting sometime and shit. And one of them was on the uh, cell phone and shit when the meeting was on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Shug told him, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we don't do that here. You know what I'm saying? So he got up and he walked into the other room and shit. You know what I'm saying? He talking that cell phone. So Shug thought that was disrespectful. You don't do shit. It's quiet. It's my time. So he went over there and beat the shit out this motherfucker. And since your brother with you, I beat the fuck out of you too. You know what I'm saying? Now you ain't no relationship. He wouldn't have did that to me and my brother. You know? It would have been 15. That mean they would have they would have did it to me and my brother. Yeah, they did. You're probably not. They would have. But he did a lot of that. Like it would have been 15 men and other niggas to get that off. Like he was like a brutal motherfucker. I don't believe. And he wasn't I, raised that way though. I felt I know that's my whole point. Yeah. I don't think I think men only do what you let them do. So if you the type of motherfucker that uh if they see they can get that off on you, I think they'll pull that trigger. If you don't give them up, you don't, you don't let them feel like they uh, can get that off. I don't think they would do it because if, if you keep, if you understand, everything he did was with help. He ain't do no individual nigga shit. He started off individual shit. Yeah, it's easy to be a bodyguard. Get, get back, get back, get he, back. Yeah. He, it's gonna be some rougher dudes, and he got size that look like he's rougher, and he wasn't the only bodyguard either. But he was a ruthless brain type of dude. You know what I'm saying? He's sinister. Yeah, he, he's a sinister. You are the bad guy. But he, he, but I, I just, you know, I just always thought. I like did him. think that that's, I did think that they did him wrong. You know what I'm saying? Why he's in prison right now over that shit? Because clearly he was being robbed. You he know, was trying to be intimidating. No, he no. I'm talking about when, when they did the NWA movie, and he and he's there just to do the NWA. Movie. He was there to and be he, intimidated, no, bro. When he pulled in there, there was people that came out with guns and they rushing. Yeah, because it should. Because so he's trying to be intimidated. So he backed up and like, I'm gonna get the fuck up out of there. And well, you run over the homie. You run over to one of the dudes. And the his homie. homie. Your, your gun that was him told me. <laughs> Hey, he was slave for his life, and it's like and the nigga balls, the nigga balls from uh, like he didn't Curtis shoot that was, I beat the shit out of like him, like they already ain't like each other. Like he didn't shoot nobody or nothing. Like I am fleeing for my life. If you're in the way, you got a gun. <laughs> he just came towards me. Balls was whooping on him. Yes, <laughs> but uh, what I'm saying is though, I just you know I mean like because I guess you got to do what you got to do coming from what the game was then too because. Once they got in the game, it was already like, you know, with it being like Easy Nim and niggas like Ice T. It's, it's a bunch of niggas on the west side that wasn't on no sucker shit. 
So, you know what I mean? So, to Arby me, I'm going to come into it. You know what I'm saying? He went to college. He's the only one that said, but I'm not signing this motherfucking bullshit. Yeah. Man, you six foot four yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, he was like, even in there, he's like, I watched them. I do They said he went his ass too. He said, he said, I watched the, I don't know about that, but he, said, he watched them bully a lot of motherfucking artists in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They said, should Knight had these motherfuckers Snoop Dogg, all of y'all. Yeah. Y'all in this like two bedroom apartment and shit because y'all broke. Y'all really ain't got no money and shit right there. Y'all making songs and shit. Y'all don't eat, y'all don't smoke weed or nothing until he get there. That's how broke, you know what I'm saying? That y'all, y'all that's, the when they, that's when you get the fucking, uh, before the album come yeah. out, though. So that's why it's April 4th. That's before the album come out. Yeah, that's, that's, why it's so well, easy. that's why it's so easy when we put this piece of paper in there and say, sign it, I'll yeah. fill it out later on. That's a yeah. maniacal way of thinking. Yeah. That's a brainwash. But they should have said, I, well, the thing is, if you ain't got nothing, and Snoop, I don't know how good or bad our family he had. He created the beat with Snoop Dogg and, uh, and, and, and Tupac. What? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because Snoop Dogg, oh, like, yeah, that's I ain't got no does. problem with them. You know, I ain't no problem with them right there. You know, but he was, but he had like shit that he, when the shit was going down, though, that nigga, that, he, he was active. No, it's the same thing with that. He just, so he said after, I just seen some shit. He was, Man, he he just was went after through, having his he, baby. He just went through a murder case where he just beat it. That him. and having that's a child the, and all that's that would change your life. Go, like, okay, I know I was I was doing my shit, you know what I'm saying? He could damn and shit. You know, I almost went to prison for the rest of my life. So his whole shit changed. You know what I'm saying? That's who the Snoop Dogg we're looking at right now. If right if it wasn't for that, Snoop Dogg probably would have quit or he'd been been in jail and shit. Cause no. he was mixing both, you know no, what I'm saying? He was mixing both, yeah. as we all do at that age. And I think he just, I smoke weed, that's all I'm doing. I'm not doing the weed deals, I'm not doing this right here. Yeah, right. Yeah. He was still doing that shit. I don't think he was like, I'm going to be the biggest weed man. You know, I'm going to do it. He didn't need to be the weed man, he became a big star. I mean, star. Yeah, I, I'm saying his focus wasn't, no, no, I'm going to use my the money I got to sell dope on the side. He no. already been on TV, I mean, once you make it on TV, once. once. You can get, you can book you something. No, I'm telling about this right here. Before the trial, he was doing a little bit of everything and shit. After that trial, that first hour, went clean. When it comes, I'm gonna tell you. He'll tell you that. He I'm gonna tell clean. you the that first from um, all that shit was transitional time. When they before the deal, getting the deal, um, he probably did the fucking one song for free. But Drake, picked, you know, he probably did the one song for free, one eight seven on the undercover cop, and then you know that shit grow. So that was over a few year lifespan. While all these deals unroll, I'm gonna give you this one. We're gonna fund that. We're gonna do all that shit like that. The nigga, all that they, you, you have those transitional problems. Remember when we used to be in the studio? My dad would come through with buckets of chicken, with boxes of churches and. We got drinks up there and shit like that in the studio hanging. It, it, it wasn't nobody was talking about who had money or who didn't have no money, but it was the grinding times. You know what I'm saying? It was the times when it's the this is like the bottom. This where the this where the heart of the music comes from. And then you know when things start rolling, you know some niggas fell off, some niggas, whatever the fuck. But all I'm saying is like with all of that, he had time to. Uh, it's always grind time. That's just like that first three weeks at work. <laughs> you get a job. You got to work for three weeks before you get paid. Yeah, but it shouldn't be somebody right here using that to manipulate the fuck out of you. And that's what shit not to do. But he wasn't doing that to them during those times. No, he was. He wasn't. I'm going to tell you. He may have been doing some shit, but nigga, you're not going to scare a group of niggas, y'all blood niggas, and y'all, he's not even a blood for real. Them niggas are running blood. No, but he still had blood and Crips working for him in that house. Right, that's what you do, because the like, bloods and Crips fuck with each other out there for like, real. Like, we had dumbass rules, like, why? This will piss me off.